Hey witches, what's up and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Barbie and thank you guys so much for joining me today. Please remember to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below for more crystal and witchy content. All right, you guys, so for today's video, this has been a long requested video that I purchase crystals from Amazon. So I purchased probably $150 worth of crystals from Amazon to open and re review for you guys today. I am so excited because I ordered some Malachite, some Laramar, some Towers. So let's jump in and open all of the crystals that I bought from Amazon. So look at all of these Amazon packages that are full of crystals. I'm so excited to open them on up. So let's get started. So this is the first set of crystals that I purchased. I noticed a lot of the crystals come in kits or sets. So this set set is a Leo set for my birth month and I was curious to see what crystals they recommended for Leos. This is the website name. I've never heard or shopped with them before so I'm really curious to see the quality of these crystals. So this is what the box looks like outside of the packaging. It's a really nice box. And then on the back, it explains some of the crystals you get in the box. And then you do get this little printed off certificate of authenticity. So that's really interesting. I've never seen this before when purchasing crystals. And then it has their shop name, Rock Paradise. So when you open up the box on the inside, it does have some details here on the crystals. And actually on the front, it does tell you the contents of the box. So in this box, we should be getting Tiger's Eye, Emerald, Orange Calcite, Red Jasper, Citrine, and pyrite. So tiger's eye is supposed to help with the stone of the mind, which gives clarity and deep understanding, protects Leos from evil. Then emerald is the stone of success and love, and it helps with unconditional love for Leos. Orange calcite, which helps build up physical and emotional mental balance for Leos. Red jasper, which is the stone of total awareness, helps bring insight for Leos. Citrine, which which is one of my personal favorites. I'm so curious to see if this is genuine citrine or if it's heat treated amethyst. This is the stone of mental stability. It helps to warm the heart and activate the imagination. And then pyrite, which is the stone of luck, enhances willpower and brings prosperity and abundance for Leos. So this is initially what the box set looks like. Okay, the citrine is not real and does not look good. So I'll just show you guys. So this is what the box set looks like. Some are raw, some are polished. And let's look at each one of these individually because I'm really curious like this. Okay, so this is the red jasper This is a raw piece of red jasper. This looks 100% authentic. Obviously, it's raw There's not really much you can fake with it So I would say this one is like an 8 out of 10 pretty good Then we have the raw tiger's eye. I'll bring it into the sunlight so you guys can see it This is a very small piece. It's raw. There's no flash on it. So it's not fake, but it's just like a really low quality piece of tiger's eye. I'd give this like a four out of 10. So this is the emerald. Now I'll go ahead and move it in the direct sunlight. This is actually really, really beautiful. Again, another raw piece. This is authentic. And yeah, I give this like a 10 out of 10. It's a good size, good quality, good color. Then we have the orange calcite. I'll go ahead and move that into the sunlight, it's getting a little blown out. But this again, I would say good quality. It's raw, it's no reason for it to be faked. I would say it's overall just genuine and pretty average looking, so I'll give this an eight out of 10. Then we have the pyrite, that's absolutely gorgeous. It's kind of blowing out in the sun, but that is a gorgeous piece with lots of cubic formations on it. This is actually a pretty high quality piece of pyrite, so I give this a 10 out of 10. And then we have the troublesome citrine which is in fact heat treated amethyst it's really cloudy lots of white on the base right here which is an indication that it is in fact heat treated this is just amethyst that's heated up so it's not genuine citrine and it's a pretty unfortunately low quality piece of amethyst that they heated so i would give this like 
a 1 out of 10. This was really disappointing because the rest of the box set is really quite beautiful, but this, they should just skip this. It, it's really disappointing. So, I mean, obviously this guarantee is just phony. Like, it clearly isn't genuine and authentic with the citrine, and that's unfortunate because this gives a guarantee that is just a lie. So, I really think they should skip this unless they are 100% putting in authentic crystals. So, this box set was $26.50 with free shipping, of course, free two day. I mean, each one of these tumble stones is maybe three to four dollars. So, doing the math, you're definitely paying a lot more. You're not able to pick your own stones some of the quality is good some of the quality is not great and some of it isn't even real or authentic so I mean I can't really recommend this product unless you're okay with mediocre quality and not getting authentic crystals so I would give this overall box set like a 6 out of 10 it's a cute idea the packaging is really cute most of the crystals were authentic, but the citrine just really put my whole rating down and the certificate of authenticity put my whole rating down because you can't really trust what you're getting in the box is authentic. And I would say overall, just before we get into the rest of the video, I know a lot of you guys like to buy your crystals on Amazon, but they are expensive. I was shocked at how expensive all the box sets were, all of the crystals were. A lot of them are still coming from sellers who sell on Wish and AliExpress. So you're paying a lot of money. Like I didn't get that much stuff. For the $150 I spent, I didn't get as much as I would have if I would have shop for a local crystal shop. So in our next package, we got a, another box set. Like I said, there is tons of box sets on Amazon. This one's pretty heavy. I can't exactly remember what's all in this one, but this is the box set that I picked up. All right, so let's go ahead and open it on up. Ooh, it looks really pretty. Okay, I'm excited to see what's all in here. Chakra stone set and then it just tells you a little bit about the chakras. So that's really nice and informative. So the first thing we got is a little baggie of what I think is clear quartz. That is what that looks like. So I'm just examining these close up because they're so tiny. I just wanted to take a feel and see. Something about them doesn't feel right. They have inclusions, but not a lot. I, I honestly think that these might be glass. They're so lightweight and super warm to the touch. They just don't feel or sound like real clear quartz. So I'm just gonna give this, I, I just can't confirm that these are real, you guys, because they look and feel like glass. So I'm gonna give this like a one out of 10 because I don't think these are genuine. So the next thing we have in here is a lava bead bracelet with chakra, whoops, chakra colors. So that is what it looks like. All of these are lava of beads which a is a pretty cheap stone readily available and then you only get a few genuine crystals here it looks like clear quartz which honestly looks like glass amethyst lapis lazuli which is a conflict stone maybe amazonite tiger's eye yellow calcite or yellow jade and red jasper or carnelian it's hard to tell because they're beads but i mean the lapis lazuli in here is a little disheartening because lapis lazuli is a conflict stone so that makes me not think that any of these um could be ethically sourced or they're okay with conflict stones so i don't know overall this is a super cheap item because you're only getting a few crystals it's pretty but they could have used a different blue stone instead of lapis lazuli, so it was less conflict um, in the making of this bracelet. And the next stone we have is a raw piece of rose quartz. So this is the piece of rose quartz. It's really blown out, but it is pretty pink. It's an okay quality, nothing call home about. It's just average, like nothing special. So it's, it's a nice size. It's genuine, obviously, because it's raw. You can't really fake a raw crystal, so. Yeah, so we have two mystery bags in here. One is this purple one. So inside the purple one is a raw piece of amethyst, if I can get it out. 
Okay, there we go. So this is a raw piece of amethyst. It's actually a really nice quality. It has a little cut base there. So this is a really pretty crystal and it's nice that they put the purple crystal in the purple bag. I like that touch. So yeah, 100% authentic, really nice quality, beautiful piece. And this is the other mystery bag. This is a pink bag and there are a lot of tumble stones in here. So I'm excited to see what tumble stones are in here. This feels quite heavy. It feels like there's a lot and there is. So the first tumble stone we have is lapis lazuli, just like the bracelet piece. So lazuli represents the blue chakra. Next we have an amethyst tumble. This is a pretty nice quality as well. Tumbled stone. Then we have a clear quartz tumble. Pretty good quality. Not super clear, but decent. We have a pretty flashy tiger's eye, so that's nice. I believe this is for the crown chakra. Then we have a rose quartz tumble. This one is pretty nice quality. I believe this is supposed to be citrine, but I believe it's just lemon quartz. Um, because of the banding in it. Quartz has that type of banding. It looks like it's treated because it has a really weird color. So I think this is supposed to be citrine, unfortunately. This looks to just be lemon quartz. Then we have a really pretty piece of red jasper and obsidian tumble. And I believe this is just green adventuring, which is a pretty nice piece. So overall, I think that set is really nice. All of the crystals are authentic except for the citrine. I'm not sure if they're claiming it's citrine, but I think it's supposed to represent citrine, which is just a lemon quartz. But otherwise, I think all the tumbles are really nice. They're a nice size. They're pretty decent quality. So I'd give this like an eight out of 10. So the next thing in the box is a little raw piece of clear quartz. This is actually really pretty. So this is the raw piece of clear quartz. It's just a natural point. It's it's a really pretty piece. This could be really nice as a necklace or just a pocket stone, but really beautiful. And for the last thing in the box, this is an amethyst necklace. So that's what it looks like in the packaging. So it's an amethyst raw flower on here. It's pretty nice quality. It's a pretty pale color, but it's still really pretty. Then it comes on a pretty basic cord. So nothing too special, but it's a nice piece. It's definitely a nice wearable piece. So this box set was $27.50, so almost $30 for all of the crystals you get in there. I do think you get a fair amount of crystals in there and some variety. I do like the packaging in the box set. It is a little bit expensive for what you get, but I'd say overall with the free shipping, it's pretty in line. So I'd say I'd give this like a eight out of 10. I think there's some good pieces in there, but they are all very basic crystals. You're not really getting anything special. You could literally get those crystals anywhere and everywhere. So next we have a, another set of towers and a lot of these come in these box sets. I noticed that on Amazon, so really interesting. So this is what this box set looks like up close. It's actually quite pretty. And then you get this little tassel and there's a stamp on here and it's kind of like this fabric. So these I would say make really nice gifts, but I'd say overall in general for these Amazon box sets, most of the things you are paying for are the box. The crystals themselves are smaller and cheaper. So you're mostly putting your money for this pretty box set, which does make a good gift, however. So I believe you just pull this and that's how you open it. Oh my gosh, these are so much smaller than I thought they would be. Oh my God. So these are all the towers you get. They come in a lot of plastic. I, I think they could do without all the plastic, but let me take these out and put them in the box for how they were intended to look. So there they all are. They don't quite fit in the box. There's a lot of extra room, but let's look at each one of these individually. I mean, the quality in the sun looks really pretty. They're all the same size, but yeah, I thought these would be like five inch towers hours, not like three inches. So this is the first tower. This is a clear quartz tower. And this I would say is pretty decent quality. You can see my mouth through it. So that is pretty darn clear and the point is intact. So yeah, I would say this is a really nice little piece. Next we have the amethyst. Again, this is a really nice little piece. It has pretty decent color, pretty decent clarity. So this is really nice. The point is intact. So really nice piece. Then we have the rose quartz, pretty nice dark 
dark pink color a little bit of white but not too bad really really pretty um, and then the point is intact as well so really really lovely and then we have the obsidian which is a volcanic glass so really pretty again just a basic obsidian point is intact so really nice piece I mean all those were authentic crystals the polishing was nice the quality was pretty nice the box was really nice overall like probably a 9 out of 10 but let's look at the price because I think the price is interesting <laughs> So the little tower box set price was $20. I'd say each one of those towers is between two or $3 each, depending on the material. And then you have the box. So I would say overall, it's pretty expensive. Like you are paying mostly for the box. So if you like the box set and you want a place to keep your teeny tiny towers, they're almost pocket sized towers, which again, there's nothing wrong with that. But I was expecting them to be a little bit bigger. I'll put the listing photos up so you can see all of the listing photos. They just look a lot bigger. And of course they don't say that they're only like two inches tall. So overall I'd say like eight out of 10, but definitely you're paying for the box. So I'm gonna be saving the Malachi in Laramar for last because those are most likely going to be fake. So let's look at the other box set that I picked up. So this is like a little Christmas tree shaped box set. I thought it was really cute. You get a ton of crystals in here and then you get all of the descriptions on the back. I just thought this was very fun and kind of witchy, but it also is very holiday with the Christmas tree shape. So I was like, well, why not? So on the back, it calls out all of the crystals you get and the healing properties. So pretty informative. You get agate, amazonite, amethyst, aventurine, blue agate, blue sandstone, colored fluorite, labradorite, ice obsidian, garnet, regular fluorite, um, lapis, moonstone, unikite, strawberry quartz, snowflake obsidian, tiger's eye, rubellite, rose quartz, and rock crystal, which I'm not sure what rock crystal is, maybe clear quartz. So let's go ahead and open it on up. Okay, now this is freaking cute. And that's what everything looks like. They come in these little jars. Like these are so cute. Like, I mean, I already like this. I don't even care if the stones are real because I just think this is such a freaking cute idea. Okay, you guys, I just wanted to show you this up close because it's a little bit easier than pulling them all out of the container and showing you them that way. So these are what they all look like. They're these little mini bottles and this one actually has some flash for the labradorite. So all of these are actually authentic. I don't think there's anything in here that's fake except for this. This is a man-made stone. But you get some pretty nice crystals like garnet which is pretty sought after right now. You have the snowflake obsidian, tiger's eye, amethyst, rubellite. This is the rock crystal which I was right. This is clear quartz. Then you have the fluorite, the lapis, colored fluorite, the strawberry quartz, unikite, labradorite, and then this one is the rose quartz. And this is the moonstone. It actually does have some blue flash in there, so that's kind of fun. This Oh, this has some other mixed stones in here. That's the amazonite, the agate, adventuring, ice obsidian. So you do get a lot of authentic crystals in here. I do think this is a really cute idea and a great way to explore some new crystals. So overall, really like this. So overall, I think this is such a cute idea. I think out of everything, Everything I bought this is my favorite because it's witchy and crystals together so I would give this like a 10 out of 10 and this was actually on sale it was only $20 so I think you get a lot of crystals for $20 originally it was $26.99 so you save $7 so I really like this a lot it was probably one of my favorite things and again I know Christmas has passed but really cute just any time of the year gift for a friend who's interested in crystals or witchcraft okay you guys I'm pretty sure in here we have the malachite so I am nervous to see if this is genuine or not. Okay, so this is what the malachite looks like in the package that we get. So this is the piece of malachite that I ordered and it is in fact genuine. So yay! I'm moving it over into the sun just so you get to see the coloring. So yeah, that is the genuine piece of malachite that I got on Amazon. I was afraid it was going to be fake. It is an okay quality. As you can see, there's really no orbs on it, which orbs indicate higher quality. So I'd say this is like an average piece of malachite, but you do get pretty good color breath on it. 
it. So it's not the worst, but not the best. So this piece of malachite was $8.99, so nine bucks. I would say it's a little bit expensive, but you do get the free shipping, so maybe it evens out in the end. It's, again, a pretty average piece. So, I mean, I'm just surprised that it was genuine and real. Uh, so that's super exciting, because I thought for the longest time all of the malachite on Amazon would be fake. And you guys, we have our next piece, which is a Larimar tumble. I am so nervous to see if this is authentic. So that is what the packaging looks like. It says it's a medium A grade dolphin or Atlantis stone. So let's go ahead and see if I got scammed. It honestly looks real. So there's how the packaging looks and then there's the stone. Let's take her out. Okay, like you guys, the amount of freaking plastic that Amazon uses plastic plastic there's so much plastic you guys like most small crystal shops try to avoid plastic by all means possible amazon just has so much crap so much plastic envelopes so much plastic packaging it's insane so that's one downside of shopping for crystals on amazon is so much plastic that's just bad for the environment anyways rant over let's take a look at this beautiful letter stone there it is y'all there is the Lady Mod. It is authentic. It is kind of a smaller piece, but overall it's nice. There's just a little bit of host stone here and here where it was attached to the matrix, but overall it's a pretty solid piece of Larimar. There's some um, color breath here with some green and blue and white, so that is pretty nice. It has the signature pool-like pattern on it, so really beautiful piece. I'm like honestly so surprised that that is authentic because Larimar on Amazon is trippy to me because usually you can only get it from the Dominican Republic. This obviously comes from the Dominican Republic so there are clearly sellers on there who are selling authentic Larimar but it just surprises me. So let's take a look at the listing and see what the price was. So the price was $16.99 so let's call that 17. It is on the higher side, but it is authentic and it is genuine. Larimar is a little bit hard to come by. It's rare. It comes from only one place in the whole entire world. That's the Dominican Republic. The mine is underwater. It's hard to get. Larimar is expensive. And if you guys just want a sneak peek of what's coming, I ordered a ton of Larimar for my Etsy shop. So I'm going to be doing an unboxing. I ordered it directly from a supplier in the Dominican Republic. So I'm so excited to show you guys. So just knowing the price I paid, I don't think that this pricing is completely out of line, especially because you get the free two days shipping, which would normally cost three or four dollars. So if you deduct that from the price, this is more like a $14 piece. So I would say it's definitely fairly priced and decent quality. So I mean, overall, I would give this like a 10 out of 10 because it's genuine and it's not expensive. All right, you guys. So that was everything that I got from Amazon. It was $150 worth of crystals. Do you think that was worth $150 worth of crystals or do you think I paid too much or didn't pay enough? Let me know in the comment section down below if you would pay that for all of these crystals that I got. I was overall pretty impressed that all of the crystals were authentic except for the citrine. That was a major disappointment in a couple of the boxes we saw, but the malachite and Larimar being authentic was a nice surprise and the price wasn't too bad. I was always really hesitant to buy crystals off of Amazon because a lot of the same vendors from AliExpress and Wish are on there just reselling and I was worried that the quality would be really bad and that some of the crystals might in fact be fake, but I was pleasantly surprised. I would say the downsides of shopping on Amazon is that there isn't a lot of variety unless you're looking for a specific stone. In the gift boxes, you just get a lot of ordinary playing crystals, which again, there's nothing wrong with that as long as they're authentic. I would say in general, you are paying a little bit of a higher price and you're mostly paying for the box versus the crystals and the free shipping that's included because that is probably baked into the price that you're paying. And the one other downside is there's a lot of plastic waste. I just think that they could do without all of the little mini plastic bags and the Ziploc bags and all the extra plastic and all the stuff that's just gonna go into a landfill that's not very 
supportive of the environmental efforts that come with being involved in crystals so personally I just think there's just too much plastic. Overall I was pleasantly surprised. I wanted to do this for a really long time because a lot of the Amazon crystals I saw a couple years ago were very fake and it seems like the sellers on there have stepped up their game and have definitely been making sure that the crystals are authentic and decent quality. So even though I personally probably wouldn't buy my crystals on Amazon because you're not 100% sure what you're getting, I'd personally rather purchase from a small shop. I'm not really one to support a huge billion dollar business when there's so many amazing small crystal shops out there who are making a difference and doing the right thing instead of, you know, being a billion dollar company who's abusing their employees. So that's the reason I personally wouldn't buy crystals off of Amazon, but I know that not everyone has a local crystal shop or knows about all of these small businesses and crystal shops that are out there in the world. So that's just my thoughts on the crystals from Amazon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a ton of fun making it. And if you have any recommendations on where I should buy crystals next, leave them in the comment section down below. You guys always have really, really good ideas. And thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the new year. I think this video is coming out in January. So happy 2022 and I look forward to a another year of YouTube with all you guys. I love you and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye. I'd like to give a special thank you to all of my Patreon members. If you are looking for exclusive business advice, consider joining us. We have three tiers available and you can get all the business advice you need for just $10 a month and access to an exclusive crystal community. You'll get the opportunity to network with other shops, make friends, and join me in the Discord. Everything is linked in my description box. See you there.